Hey guys, it's Luke at Recovery Force, and uh, I have an option here, uh, opportunity, to uh, show a uh, perfect example of how uh, uh, putting some heat on a NAND chip will help uh, improve the read from not at all to uh, pretty much 100%. So let's uh, let's take a look. Well, here we have it. Uh, we have uh, uh, a bitmap, uh, a subsect. It's only uh, about. 100 megabytes worth of sectors and um, but it's targeted to files so we kind of really would like to see these recovered so if I click on reread those sectors and click all execute okay uh, we can see that uh, uh, my past example here is all red and we'll continue on here and as you can see all we're getting is red sectors so here we have the, the flash extractor hooked up, and I've got it sort of rigged in a, under a uh, heater here. So I'm going to power that on to turn the fan down, put up to about 330, uh, blowing on that chip. And let's give it a second or two and uh, see what happens in the background. Watching to make a liar out of me. There we go. Notice now we're all green. Just like that. I don't know if that's close enough to keep it. We'll see what happens here. But that, uh, Oh, nope, so I've got to keep it, keep it closer, I guess. I could turn up the fan speed, I guess, because I've got it turned down so I don't blow things away. And assuming that I have it lined up. There we go. Yeah. So there you have it. Um, just a little bit of heat. And I have it set right now for uh, 330. Now this uh, uh, 330 Fahrenheit, but this uh, heat gun rarely ever hits the temperature which it says, and so it's probably not quite as hot as as advertised. But the idea is that I've just gradually found a heat level for it to work, and certainly going and getting the results that I, I want to see. So there you have it. Have a great day.